does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need hello sir my question is that i'm fully aware of the thoughts that i'm having most of the times so i feel like ever since so for a year and a half i feel like i've been going through something it's a low phase i can i acknowledge the suffering and i know how to come out of it but then i feel like i keep getting stuck in the same thought cycle again and again i find an answer and then i'm back at it something small happens and then i'm back at the same cycle the intensity reduces over time so i feel like if i look back a year and a half ago maybe it was this big and now it's just ittusa and i'm almost out but then the thing is that it still keeps coming back it's the same thought process is the same conclusion and then it repeats so how do you break it ki matlab solution to aa raha hai dimag mein ki ye iska solution hai but wo karne ke baad fir wo problem same baar aa rahi hai तो मतलब सोल्यूशन गलत हुआ यू डोंट नीड अ सोल्यूशन फॉर द एग्जिस्टिंग मेंटल पैटर्न इफ यू विल थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट टू डू विथ व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन इन द माइंड देन यू आर ओनली प्रोवाइडिंग इट विथ मोर एनर्जी मोर रिस्पेक्ट मोर कंसिडरेशन दैट जस्ट continues the cycle thought is important thought is necessary one needs a higher plane of thought one needs a higher object to think about involve yourself with uh, something so humongous so impressible and so tremendously important that you cannot ignore it even for a second and then all the petty kinds of little thoughts and nonsense that uh, that invade the mind and clutter it you'll find they don't have space they are crowded out if you will keep your mind available to anything that the world wants to uh, keep in it then the mind will become a storehouse of uh, random thoughts experiences memories desires and the mind does want something you cannot just say i'll keep my mind clean and there'll be nothing in it that's humanly impossible even if that's possible that's the last stage of wisdom when the mind is absolutely free of all content where you are you need content and you need pure proper solid content in the mind hmm so help yourself with that with that give yourself something worth living for hmm more importantly something worth dying for so the follow up question comes even from the previous things that you mentioned i often find myself asking who am i then i have the answer ki because i've uh, been exposed to spiritual knowledge since birth uh, my family is spiritual we follow a school of thought which is known as so um i feel like i have the knowledge but i keep forgetting I don't know how to frame the question it's just that okay I need to find something like you said worth dying for so that I don't have anything uh that is not worth thinking about I'm not giving it that much importance but then how does it come how do I find that answer you don't have to find an answer you have to let that answer be admitted because the answer is right there in front of you 
Hmm? You don't have to ask who am I, you have to see who you are. When you say, oh, I ask who am I, but sometimes I forget who I am, then isn't it obvious who you are? You are the forgetful one. You are the quality of your present action. You are not some theoretical answer of identity. Some book says, oh, you are the uh, fragmented consciousness and you start saying, oh, I am fragmented consciousness. Some says, I am the absolute self and you become the absolute self. No. You are right now. Attention itself, if you are indeed listening to me. So who are you? Attention. Unfortunately, this identity won't last. Soon you will be distracted and, and dissipated. You will become somebody else. Hmm? The discipline lies in holding on to the highest identity possible. And the highest identity is not an abstraction. Highest identity simply means that which you know to be the highest given your limited capacity. In your limited capacity, limited age, limited experience, limited uh, knowledge, whatever, you still know something to be the highest, right? And I'm talking of knowing, not borrowing. From your own inner honesty, you know something to be important, right? Now stick to that. That's what who you should be. That's what should be the proper answer to who am I. Who am I is not a question that you ask yourself in solitude. So you, having, having done through the usual chores of the day, you sit in a corner and you ask yourself in a ritualistic way, who am I? And you already know the answer in advance because the uh, spiritual path has provided you with a ready-made answer. Hmm? So it's a nice game going on with the self. I'll ask myself a question, the question is ready-made and then I'll give myself an answer and the answer too is ready-made. Ready so who am I? I am the Atma, happy, <laughs> walk away. What is this? Is this inquiry? Do you call this kind of a thing as inquiry where the answer is preordained, ready-made, well-known in advance? No, this is not inquiry. Who am I? Is, is, is Ma'am, you totally changed who I am. <laughs> who am I is a burning torch. Huh? It's supposed to totally destroy your illusions. So you are, you are just feasting on something. And two minutes before that, you had told yourself that you are the Shuddha Atma. Huh? And now you are swallowing the Samosa. So who you really are, please tell me. I'm the gluttonous one. That's all. No. Though it's quite tempting to say, oh, I am the Atma currently lost in Samosa. <laughs> Kindly don't yield to that temptation. If the Samosa is what is dominating your mind, then the Samosa is your identity. Accept that even if it humiliates you. That's the tragedy. It keeps changing. What should be the state of mind while having the samosa? You already decided that the samosa is a must. <laughs> hmm? But even if the samosa is a must, at least be honest enough to say, I am the samosa lover. Don't say, I am Atma. I am the samosa lover. Obviously, please tell me from your own experience, what does this change mean? This change means that you are at the mercy of conditions. And uh, obviously this change is not something sitting here, engaging in this discussion. You are at a certain level and that's your identity. Hmm? And we'll walk out and then other things will take over. 
and and all the attentiveness will be lost. Do you think that is good? So this change is obviously not good. 